in a, a slightly more advanced way, and we're going to talk about array of objects, array of array of classes, of instances that of your own classes. So an array is basically a placeholder. So imagine, for example, imagine um, a set of um, Imagine a set of, say, three circles, right? Three empty circles, like this, for example, right? Imagine that to be uh, an array of objects, three objects. In code, this might look like, this might look a little bit like, uh, perhaps something like int, oops, well, int a, oh, I'm sorry, int a right equals new int three right when you say int a equals new int three then the computer reserves three spaces and then the analogy here is that Java knows that an int has a specific shape let's say it's a circle so it reserves slots placeholders for three circles so then when you say in the next line you say uh, a sub zero, lowercase a sub zero, equals three. What you create is a new integer, right? And you put the number three in here. But what you create with a new integer is you create a new circ, a new uh, object, right? A new thing of the same shape, of a circular shape. But this is this time this this circular shape is, is filled with something, in this case the number three, right? And we put it in position zero. So now our array looks like this. The first position has an int. Remember ints are in shape of circle. And the value of that is three. I just didn't put it here. Then you say a sub one is uh, four, for example. Well, Four is another int, meaning in, in Java uh, lingo, it's another circle, and now it's filled with a number three, right? So we're going to put it there. And so we're filling out the array, right? And then if I say a sub two equals five, then that's another integer, meaning another, for an, our, our analogy, it's another circle that's going to go in the last position of the array. Okay, and therefore we've filled the array with, um, with these values. Now, imagine now that instead of this, we could have an array of objects. Okay? And we, well, by the way, because these are ints, you could safely say, for example, um, you could safely say stuff like this, right? a sub 2 plus a sub 1, right? And then you know that that's going to be 5 plus 4, and that's going to be uh, 7, right? Why can you do, why you can do this is because a sub 2, you know it's filled 0, 1, 2. a sub 2 has an integer inside, okay? The cell, the space, a sub 2, is actually now populated with an integer. It is actually now an integer. It is an integer. Okay? And a sub 1 is another integer. So a sub 2 plus a sub 1 then will be the integer that, that is now position 2 plus the integer that is now position 1. Okay? And that would be 7. Now let's take another example. Let's assume there's a string array. String array uh, s equals new string array of size 3. Okay, I'm just going to make this a little bigger so I have it all in one line. Okay, let's assume s is a new string. Now in Java, strings have a different shape. They're not circles, right? They might be something else. So let's say, for example, that uh, they, they have this shape. Um, they have this shape. That's a string array. Okay? String arrays are like this. Let me separate this a little bit. Those are string arrays. Now, as you can see, 
Oops, I, I don't think I'm going to get them. Good, okay. Let's say this is a string array. They have this shape. Now, <clears throat> can you say s sub 0 little s sub 0 equals 3? Basically, 3 is an int. It's a shape circle. Can you put a circle in here? No, you can't. They're different shapes. Therefore, the type of 3 is an int. And the type of s sub 0, or s sub 0, is a cell, an empty cell. There's nothing in it, but it can hold only strings. It can only hold this shape, and you're trying to put a different shape in it. That doesn't work. It's the same thing for types, right? The analogy is types. The, the string, the placeholder for the string, can really not hold an int. Okay? They're different placeholders. One is prepared for something, not for the other thing. So let's assume, let's put stuff in the array. I can say something, for example, I can create a string, c equals hello. And then I can say s, which is the array, sub 0 equals c. In this, in this case, what's going to happen is I'm going to create an element here, c. Now it's filled up. The, the blue filled uh, shapes are actually the string, the actual object. So now s sub 0, the 0th position in that array, has become a string. Before it was just an empty placeholder. Once I put a string in that position, then that position becomes a string. Okay? So then I can do stuff like that. I can do s sub 0 dot uh, e equals hello. I could, I could invoke a string method. Look, this is a string method, right? I can invoke a string method because s sub 0 is actually a string. It is the same as if I was saying c dot equals hello. I can do c dot equals. c is a string right here. Whoops. c is a string right here. Okay. And I can call an equals there. Now s sub 0 has just become a string. So I can do, I can safely do s sub 0 dot equals. Okay, because it's a string. Now, another way of filling um, <clears throat> filling a, a cell with an object is I can do s sub s sub one equals, and instead of um, instead of uh, adding um, instead of creating a string and then putting the string in there, like creating string c and then assigning c to s zero or s one, I can just say world, right? S sub 1 is world. So it's an actual string. I just create a string there. So let's do that. S sub 1 is 1. It's, now it is a filled string. Now it's filled, right? Now an important thing to notice here is that S, the, the array, is filled with two strings, but it, but it consisted of three slots. So if I say this, if I, now, now of course I can, I can do S1 dot equals uh, world, for example, I can call a string method because this cell S1 here is a string now. It is a string. But what happens if I say uh, S2, okay, dot equals world? Well, the thing that happens here is that Java is going to go and find what what s2 what is s2 so it'll say oh s can hold strings let's see if s2 is actual string it's actually a string and it's going to say no it's not a string it's a placeholder there's nothing in it not even a string so i cannot call the equals method because s2 is not a string is a placeholder for a string and placeholders do not have methods placeholders are null okay so this would generate a null pointer exception Okay. In order to fill it with a string, I can do, you know, s2 equals, and then I could put the string in quotations, or I can do the more, um, the more standard way, 
which would be new string with a constructor, right? New string world two, right? And that would actually create a string and make S2 become a string. Here, there you go. We put it there. Now let's talk about our own objects. So now we have our own objects. Let's say we have a public class in this low p public class my object okay and all this class does is it has I don't know it has a variable uh, int uh, value and string name this tiny class nothing important right because I have this class I can create a race because a class is at its core a data type, I can create an array of these classes, just like I did an array of strings. I can create an array of my OBJs, right? Um, MO equals new my OBJ3, right? So I'm creating an array of OBJs of type 3. Now, because of these um, squiggly red lines, that I'm, I'm, I might I'm just um, let me just change it to my class. Will that be still red? Oh yeah, still red. Never mind. So you have my OBJ, right? You created your class my OBJ and then created an array of objects of type my OBJ. Okay? Those are objects that have a value and a name. Now Java immediately looks at my OBJ and assigns it a shape, or or it it um it sort of puts a shape to the to the object, right? And let's let's assume that the shape of this object is uh, this. So, whoops, I'm going to create uh, an array of length three, and these are my OBJs. The shape is like a cloud. You know, Java will come up with some shape or some way of identifying this. So, when I say my OBJ mo equals my OBJ three, I've created three placeholders for objects of type my obj for instances of my obj okay but they're not my obj objects they're just the space to put my obj objects can i can i put a string in these clouds no i cannot i cannot put something that is of this shape in here i cannot put an int here i cannot put something that is of this shape in the cloud i can only put objects of type my obj because they're shaped like a cloud so I could do the same thing that I did for the string, right? So I can do my obj m equals new my obj, right? And that'll create um, uh, an object m. And then I can say mo, mo sub zero equals m, for example, right? And then I have assigned m to m sub zero, effectively filling this lot with a cloud name M, right? Whatever was an M. Now M0 has become an object of type uh, my OBJ. So I can do something like this. MO sub zero dot name. Okay, equals John. I can do that, okay? Because M sub zero has now become an object of type M. M sub one, however, this one here, M sub one, is null. There's nothing in there. It's just a placeholder. So if I would say m sub one dot name, that would cause an all pointer exception because m sub one has no property name. It is a placeholder for something that has a property name. Exa exactly for a my object, but it's nothing. There's nothing there. So then I can fill it out also, right? Mo uh, sub one. And I can fill it out the same way as the string. I can say new my obj. So I just can create the object in the spot and assign it to m1, to m01, right? And that would put a filled out cloud in here, right? And again, I can say m02, for example, equals new my obj in here. And then, so I have just put objects of type mobj in the placeholders. So the placeholders have now become those objects. So I can do something like this. 
mo uh, sub two dot name equals Sarah and mo sub one dot value equals ten for example, and then we know that this guy's mo sub zero dot name is John, and we know that mo sub two, which is this guy's name is Sarah, and we know that the value of the middle guy is ten because now these elements of the array are objects themselves. If I want to go back into making it a placeholder, I would have to say mo say sub sub 2 equals null, and that would effectively remove the uh, contents of the object and leave the placeholder again. I hope you've understood how arrays work mostly with your own objects, and why you cannot, although uh, although my object has a string in it, you cannot really put a string because Java has assigned it a very different shape and it will only take elements of that same shape. Okay, Regardless whether there's a string in this object or not, or there's an int in this object, you cannot put ints here nor strings here, only my OBJ objects, Okay, and vice versa.